Alright, how's it going guys? It's early as hell. I'm tired. I gotta go to work in an hour. But I did tell some of y'all I'd come out with a little update to show you guys what's been going on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as I was talking about in the Discord and shit, my humidity's been really low. So, I've got that in there for right now. I've got it up a little bit. But, let's, uh, go into the tent, shall we? Sorry for the mess, by the way. I didn't clean up from yesterday's little endeavor I had to do. So, we've got this Gorilla Glue Skittles, and that Gorilla Glue Skittles back there. Both looking good. I fed everything yesterday, so I picked up some uh, Roots Organics Cow Mag, and I also picked up some of this from them. So, I did a top dress yesterday with both of those and my uh, Down to Earth 444 mix. So, any deficiencies you do see should be going away within like a few days. Um, this plant, we are flushing. Uh, it's got a little bit of amber on the bud now, so we're just going to give it about another 7 to 9, 10 days. Kind of just till the harvest that we just did is dried so I can jar that up because I honestly don't have space to even hang this plant or else I probably would have chopped it last night. But um, Yeah, so this one's in flush. This isn't getting any nutrients. So this one's going to just start to look worse and worse as time goes. Um, this one still had that cow mag deficiency, but like I said, I bought that stuff yesterday, top fed it, so give it a few days, she should be kicking nice and well, minus some leaves, like she still looks happy, but she's definitely far behind on budding, so definitely gonna uh, hopefully see a nice catch up with her, um, we got the super lemon haze auto back here, that as well was running into some deficiencies, uh, yeah, I'm it's all fed now. Uh, it's rookie mistakes. I was more focusing on the harvest and those plants than I was on these plants as the time came. So I did neglect these ones a little bit, but most of them still look fine. Like, there's a little bit of discoloring on this one, but like this one's still nice, happy. It's still growing fine. This one, it's still budding and producing, even though it's not looking the happiest. But I mean. All in all, this tent's not horrible. I definitely uh, just need to keep up on it now from here on out. Now that I can divide my full attention to it. So, uh, here's that tent. Let's go over to the other flower tent. I have to hook up that carbon filter soon, actually. Now that I think about it. So, in here. We've got the lava cake, the morella glue, the chocolate, and two more super lemon hazes. Um, same thing, because all these were in the same tent at one point. Got neglectful with them, so you got a little bit of discoloration and shit going on. Uh, same over here. A little bit going on over there. Tiny bit going on on the super lemon haze. See if I can, uh, yeah, like down there. But... All in all, they're still happy. They're still growing nice. Um, these things are tall as hell. Like, <laughs> what a lanky ass plant, dude. I'm interested to see how it uh, finishes, though. So, all in all, though, in here, looking nice and happy. Um, give it like a week. If that, I'll start trimming off all those deficient leaves and see how they're doing from there. Maybe I'll do it sooner. Not really sure yet. Uh, it really just depends when I have the time. Because, like, I'm working, like, 9, 10 hours today, so I really don't even have time to be doing much today. So, there's that tent. Now we can go over to the 2x2, two two, where we got... Oh, fuck, my hair got in here somehow. Yes. We got the Blue Dream clone that was thirsty fed it like 30 minutes ago. I gave it water. I got the alien tech clone looking all good. We transplanted both dosy does and then this one needed more water. So I watered it again this morning. Give it a few hours. Should bounce back nice. So yeah, not much going on in this tent really. It's just kind of vegging them out. 
Uh, I gotta keep an eye on these two because once they hit about 10 to 12 inches in height, I'm sending them into flower and I'm gonna seed those ones. So I'm excited to uh, keep that genetic line around because I liked those strains a lot. They were probably my best producers out of the last 10 and they just came out really nice. So, and now for the new life in the tent. So, we got in here, we got five seedlings, soon to be six. So in here we have the cheese, which got some disturbed soil over there, so it might pop through tonight. And we got, which one is this? Uh, oh, that's alright, I knocked this one over earlier, and I thought I actually killed it, and I didn't put the thing back in. So we got a wedding cake one. He's already popped out to say hello. So we got granddaddy perp one also popping out to say hello. Nice little new growth coming in. I'm very excited for these plants. We got granddaddy perp two popping out to say hello. These ones really came out quick. Like, this is probably the fastest I've ever had seeds germinate and come through the soil. So, I'm very excited for these ones. And then we got, a uh, yeah, Wedding Cake 2. Which, if you look... Let me turn it over. You can see that little, uh, rock or whatever the hell that is. Piece of wood, whatever it's in the soil there, is, uh, popping up. So, bet when I get home from work, that one's popped through as well. So, yeah, I'm reusing those. I'm just... Yeah, I know which strains I'm running. I just need to keep track of, like, when I clone and everything like that, which ones I'm taking it off of. So that's just how I keep track of it. And then, that's all that. And then for the last little guy, we got in here. So I do the paper towel method in the Tupperware for, uh, like, some people use paper plates and stuff. I use the Tupperware for germinating. But we got the do -Si do x Purple Punch uh, from Ripper Seeds, I believe. And uh, we got a nice little taproot coming already. I put it in there about 36 hours ago, so maybe when I get home, if not tomorrow morning, this little sucker can join the rest of the seedlings. So, uh, yeah. We're looking uh, pretty good for the last run for right now. After this run, I'm going to be, well, I'll be taking clones if I get good genetics, seeding them, and then I'm going to be moving, so so I can actually increase the uh, grow area, because I want more space, I want like an 8x8, just for flower, and then can run both of these for veg, one of those for clones, I mean, one of them for, uh, like, seedlings or clones, I guess, and then one for seeding plants for like breeding and stuff so that is the end goal so um yeah that's about it nice little update for you guys thought you guys would be excited to see all the uh new life going on and uh yeah i'll be sure to keep you guys updated over the next day or two so hope you guys stay medicated hope you all are having a great day Hope you, if uh, anyone has any uh, questions, don't forget to ask. If you guys enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a good day, guys.